Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, the day has finally come. I've reached 100K and like I promised, I'm going to style a lace front wig from the Raquel Welch collection. Oh boy. Now this wig retails at the price of $503. Oh my God. It was so devastating, my brush fell. Let me say that again. This wig retails at the price of $503. Oh, hell no. But knowing me, I went to wigoutlet.com, not sponsored, and got this for $240. Which now that I'm saying it out loud, it doesn't sound like much of a savings at all, but still, I still spent a lot of money on this. I just didn't spend a whole 500 on you. I, mean, I love you guys, I don't love you that much, okay? I'm not making James Charles money here. Now, what we're gonna do today is take a look at the Raquel Welch collection and possibly transform it. Or who knows, it could be so nice that I don't wanna do anything to it and I end this video early. Let's see how this wig looks. This is what $503 will get you. The Raquel Welch Sheer Indulgence Collection. Ooh, the luxury. All right, here we go. This is a bigger box than last time. Now, mind you, I transformed a hard front wig a few weeks ago, and I was quite shocked by the quality of it. It ended up being a lot better than I thought it would be. It's still a question of whether or not it's worth the asking price, but it was a nice wig. And Wig Outlets doesn't give you anything except for, you know, they let you know that somebody named Susie looked over this. I didn't get anything else with this, not even a wig cap. It's truly, truly, you're getting what you pay for here. I paid almost half price for this. Wigoutlet.com is a lifesaver because I found out that almost all of Raquel Welch's wigs are there in limited quality and limited colors because they're like wigs that were returned. So if that doesn't bother you, go off sis. Buy yourself a used returned wig. Now it only could be returned because no one cut the lace, no one brushed it and oh the tag had to be on, the tag had to be on. I knew I remember it. I don't work for them, what do I care? Anyways, this is the wig. Okay, this is the wig. This one is called Downtime by Raquel Welch in color SS14-88, SS Golden Wheat. This is small, smaller than I expect. Let's turn it inside out. Okay, this is what we're working with on the inside. It is a stretch cap, and that is the monofilament top that Raquel Welch's brand is famous for, which means it's a free part. Honestly, that's all it is. You can part it anyway on, you know, this part of the head. It is not a full lace front wig, I'll have you know right now. That is how much lace you're getting here. It's a frontal. That is a lace frontal, and the rest is all a hard front on the sides. Now, inspecting this, now this is what the cap looks like. They aren't on tracks at all. It looks like they're all ventilated or crocheted onto this mesh cap. So that's what you're paying for, for the 500. Someone hand tied all of these onto here. Let's see what we can do with this. Be right back. <laughs> all right, this is the wig on the head. I definitely look like my name is Karen, oh my God. I would like to speak to the manager of the universe. Watch out y'all, she has a Yelp account and she knows how to use it. Gross. Okay, this is definitely a hair color I've seen many girls walk out of the beauty salon with when I used to work there as a receptionist. It's not anything that's sparking any joy for me, so I'm gonna Marie Kondo this off my head immediately. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Okay, this is the wig on the head, and I have to say, girl, she is shiny. Now, this is a $500 synthetic wig. Let's brush through it. Maybe it gets better when I brush it. Let's see. Okay, so far, I'm not really seeing the price tag on this yet, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe... Maybe I can be one over to the side of Raquel Welch. We'll see. I mean, the last wig got me. I mean, the mannequin likes it. My hair is laid. She might need a dry shampoo because she's looking a touch shiny. One thing I have to say, you guys, I have been doing a lot of research on these wigs ever since I got that one. And I was trying to find a good one for this video. So I wanted to get the longest wig Raquel had to offer. And this is it. Downtime at the long, long length of 22 inches. Wow! <laughs> so, this is Raquel Welch's longest wig she has in her collection. Really, you know, setting the world on fire with that. Love that for you. Okay. Okay, so this is the wig all brushed out, and let's see if we can add some fabulous to this country mother. There's like a whole community of Raquel Welch wig wires, you guys. I was really enthralled by this. Like, I got so interested. 
So I started doing research on these videos and some of these women, girl, the things they were saying were blowing my mind. Okay, so bear in mind, these wigs cost upwards of like 400, 500, some of them even 600, 700 for synthetic wigs. So one woman actually said, you know, with long hair, it's just going to tangle. There's nothing you can do about that. So you may only get a month's worth out of this wig. And I'm just like, $500 for a month? Are you kidding me? Oh my, anyway, I'm not gonna go down that road. I'm not gonna go down that road. I promise I wouldn't. I don't think a lot of the ladies there had much knowledge as how to maintain a wig that's a little longer. It's actually not that much maintenance to do, especially if it's like the tangle. That was like the one problem everyone was facing. Like the second the wig tangled, they threw it out. That is wasteful. No, 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 no. We don't do that on this channel, okay? I'm gonna show you all a little demo for some of my new viewers who may be Raquel Welch buyers, you know. I'm gonna let you know a little secret of the wig game. Well, it's not really a secret, it's kind of everywhere, but a Google search could have given you this, but I'm gonna give it to you now for free. All right, now, if your wig starts to tangle at the bottom, what you do is you take a clothing steamer and you steam it straight, and that will bring the fiber back to its original state. But I bet I could show you a lot better than I can tell you. So let's get the steamer going and just do a demo, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna put my brush through the wig like that. Get your steamer going. Slowly bring it through. And just like that, your ends will be revived. It does make your wig straight though, so you may have to recurl it. Also, a lot of them recommend using heat tools on their wigs. It's like, girl, of course your wig's gonna break down if you're using a freaking curling iron on it. It's not real hair. And I may have mentioned before in past videos that you had to do this before you did a roller set. You don't. I don't do that anymore. I just curl the wig as is. If it's already got a curl pattern in it, as long as you wrap the roller tight, it does not matter. No, see, that revives your ends. Just like that. It's magic. You don't have to throw the wig away. Don't do that anymore. It's wasteful. It's not biodegradable. It's a wig. Let's get this hair started. I'm gonna put a whole new curl pattern in this and try and work around whatever this is. Oh boy. Okay. I will say the lace frontal, and they take the word lace front very literally. <laughs> it's literally a few inches of lace front, and then it kind of like tapers inward into here, and the rest just, you has got the hope that this hair just falls where it falls. You don't like catch a gust of wind or anything. As long as it's not a strong breeze, this wig, you know, may work out for you. All right, let's divide up some sections and curl this wig. Now, some of you may have seen me already curl wigs, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. And it's kind of, you know, a no-brainer how to do a roller set. You just take some hair and wrap it. So I'm only gonna do a few on camera for you folks because the styling is what truly, truly matters. This is such a bizarre <laughs> wig cap. I've never seen anything like that before. Which I guess, you know, if you want to look like it's growing out of your head, like that's the thing about Raquel Welch wigs and the customers. It seems like a lot of the women that wear these wigs wear wigs so that people don't know they're wearing wigs. Like they don't want people to know they're wearing a wig. They want it to look as natural as possible and draw as little attention to it. Which is why they usually come in like certain hairstyles that seem, you know, something rather that will blend in and not stand out too much. I'm just grateful I had this wig off my head because now that I have my Petty Betty on my head, I feel, oh, so glamorous. That's right, this is a shameless plug. Available at jamesmanshowbeauty.com. And she is all rolled up. I'm just gonna do this last one for you. And if you're brushing a long wig, brush it from the bottom and then work your way up. All right, so this is the roller set. Now I have to say, you know in beauty school how they give you the mannequin head to like do styling on? It's like a styling head. Like it's all implanted onto the wig cap like those wig, like the styling heads are. Just like that. So it's kind of like a refresher, like how to, when you teach yourself how to do roller set patterns, it's very much that. <laughs> but they're very even this time, girl. It's like flashbacks, flashbacks. Okay, now it is time to steam this wig, which means we put a plastic bag over it and we're gonna steam her. And that's gonna lock the curls in place. Those of you who watch my channel frequently already know that, but for new time viewers, this is a brand new lesson for you. Just for you, for free, you're welcome. $500, I've been undercharging, oh my God. $500 she's been getting away with. Anyways, let's steam this wig. And we're back, here we go. <laughs> Just place that underneath there. And we are going to keep this under there until the rollers are hot to the touch, like burning hot to the touch. And steam is a low level heat that gets hot, but it's not gonna burn the fibers. It's a safe amount of heat to use on these. I'm not a scientist, so don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure you're not damaging anything here. We're just gonna reset the hair. And with this, you can do this as many times as you want. Whereas with a curling iron, you're dramatically breaking down that fiber until it's gonna be nothing but a brittle thing. Woo, 
look at that steam coming off. Oh my goodness, that's how you know the hair is looking right. Okay, let's put her in the wig oven and get her all dried and then we can finally start styling. For those of you wondering, this is my wig oven. That's right, I don't got that James Charles money yet. I ain't spent a thousand dollars on actual wig oven. It's a box and a blow dryer. Stick it in and blow. Look at wig oven 5,000. Okay, okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> she is all curled. Let's take these down. Moment of truth. Let's see if this thing actually curls. Whew, okay, she curls. I got a little nervous there. I was like, oh, you don't know. It's expensive, girl. I don't want to waste all this money and have a wig I can't do nothing with. It's pretty. I'm a little worried about these sideburn area, though, because I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't want to put a rooted hairline in this. In general, I don't really know what direction I'm going with this. I just want to add a new curl pattern to it because it was serving you like, I don't know, suburban mom in Texas. And I just, I, I'm not about that life. No, ma'am. So we're going to add some glamour back to the Raquel Welch collection. Baby Jane. Okay. Oh, stunning. Okay. Let's just run a brush through her. Okay, so this is her now. Beautiful. One thing I will say about the manufacturing of the Raquel Welch wigs, with their lace front wigs, they put all of the light hair on the very front of the lace front to help, like, you know, hide the spook of it all. That way the lace, it looks like it's growing out of your head. It's not so hard with, like, the hard knots. Now that I have a hair pattern here that I like, let's go through and start teasing her up into something fabulous. Just like that. I completely destroyed the market value of this wig. <laughs> Within seconds! I have to say these fibers are soft, but as I tease them, I get a little more worrisome as I'm going through it. Because I'm just, I don't know what it is, I'm afraid of pulling all the hair out. I don't think it was meant for intense teasing. <laughs> so I'm like trying to like soft tease it right now. Oh my God, my nerves, my nerves, Gary. Let's just get her teased out and then go from there. All right, I am back. Now I tease this and I've been racking my brain, you guys, trying to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do it this way because I'm at a crossroads here because there are no sides. Like literally no sides for a lace front. It's just the lace front here. So I decided, I think I'm gonna do like a blowout style. I haven't done that yet in the channel, so let's give it a shot. Five minutes later. I changed my mind. I don't know. We're gonna see what, it's gonna be what it's gonna be, okay? Right now with this, it's looking a bit Joan Crawford. I kinda wanna do an updo, I kinda wanna do a blowout. I don't know. I am just like at a crossroads here because this is all I have to work with. There's no full lace front. Ugh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. We'll make this work. So when I was praying for the hair to be bad in the last video, I got my wish. Okay, well, okay, let's see. Hmm. I actually don't mind that. Like a Barbara Stanwyck kind of thing. That's what we'll do. Oh my God, double identity. Why did I think about that? Double identity, that's what we're doing. We're gonna do a faux bang. And yes, I know I'm covering out the lace, but look at that. That ain't worth keeping, all right? And I'm doing what I want. I paid the five, no, I didn't pay 500. I paid the $200 for this. Yes, we're gonna do Barbara Stanwyck and double identity. That's what we're doing. Okay, see, ugh, I knew I'd get somewhere eventually. When all else fails, always go to old Hollywood. Never disappoints. Although I really wish I could do like one of those updos that Patti LuPone had in that Hollywood series. You see that? Oh my God. The wig budget on that shoot girl. She had like one updo that had like every twist and turn going on in the back of it. Like attention to detail to the back of the wig. I was so impressed by it. They don't get any kind of Emmy nominations for that. Ugh. The back of the wig, which you probably won't even see. I'm at that point now where I'm just convincing myself this wig is worth it. it it's gonna be worth it, you guys, I swear. It's just like those YouTube videos where you see the kids could buy those really expensive wigs and they're just sitting there the whole video just trying to convince themselves that this purchase was worth it. They're just like, oh my God, I love it so much. It's so soft. <laughs> You're like, yeah, girl, but the hairline is hard. Five more minutes later. <sighs> okay, so I've been smoothing and smoothing and smoothing. And I think I finally got it to a workable place to where I can disguise the sides and use the lace front. Now, 
I think I stumbled upon something very clever. Now, for those of you who don't know, Raquel Welch was in a movie in the 1970s called Myra Brackenridge. It was a book by Gore Vidal, and it was a huge box office bomb. But her co-star in that was Mae West, and she would wear these gigantic, you know, horsey My Little Pony wigs. And apparently on set, those two hated each other. So, I'm gonna transform Raquel Welch wig into a Mae West inspired wig. <laughs> Preferably Mae West for the 1970s because she was in her 80s dressing like she was in her 20s. <laughs> you gotta love it. We're gonna do a nice sextet inspired look. And honestly, what she would wear were like these big, long, flowing wigs with like giant bouffants on the top. Like beehive bouffants. If you ever look at like Alaska's hair, a lot of them are inspired by the old Mae West hairstyles from the 70s. Yes, it's very much aging sex kitten 101. And what I loved about them is like, they're essentially like every staple of the pinup era is there. We have like the flippy dips going in the front and everything and like the long falls, but they're just like 50s hairstyles gone insane where they're just going backwards, forwards, going every which direction. There's teasing, there's bump bits hair pieces, you name it. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna flip her back like that to create sort of a beehive effect. So that way we can play off this, you know, lace front all, as well as get something that I can live with and put on my head because every other way was not working. And honestly, this has taken me a lot longer than many wig transformations have in the past, which I'm also not pleased about because I'm hungry. So that's factoring into this performance and the rating of this wig as well. All right, and honestly, all I'm doing here is just trying to figure out the back section to make it not look so nesty. A few barrel curls back here, because that's what Mae West was all about. Like barrel curls where barrel curls shouldn't be. Beehives where beehives have no business being. Falls, bows, hair clips, hair pieces, everything inside one wig. Like I said, beehives where beehives have absolutely no business being. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up with this now, ew. <laughs> Where it looks like a seashell's on top of your head and the water's just flowing down. Like I said, it's like an inspiration of the old vintage pinup hairstyles, but like gone insane. And what used to crack me was like, Mae West would go on talk shows and stuff looking like that and was completely serious. And like, she'd wear these obvious wigs and be like, check my hairline. It's completely mine. And like, you'd see like Dick Cavett like inspecting her and like being polite and saying, oh yeah, that, that's her hair. Do this. I'll take a section from there and a section from here, and we'll just smooth that down again. I pulled some hair from the back section just to add the top here to create more of a flare and just add more of a back piece here so it looks more like an actual hairdo. Yeah, just flatten that down. And now we're just gonna play around with this and do symmetry here just to make sure it all looks like it's intentionally part of the hairstyle. Add a bit more dimension. I think I kind of grown to like the sheen just a little bit. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. And to be quite honest with you, when I was dreaming of having a Raquel Welch wig, it was actually two make big Mae West hairstyles like this. <laughs> like Mae West inspired hairdos. So I guess I'm coming full circle on this, but I'm gonna have to say this right here and now. This is probably the end of my Raquel Welch wigs. This Unless Raquel Welch herself wants to send me some wigs for free to transform, which I doubt she's going to want to do after this video. <laughs> Maybe I could be coaxed out of retirement that way. All right, now it's dry shampoo time because we're going to kill some of that shine. All right, that dulled it some. All right, I'm proud of myself. I'm glad I found something to do with this. It's very like... Mae West channeling Brigitte Bardot in 1972. And that like curls you see here, play around with those. That's gonna really add to the craziness of the hairdo. All right, I think she's ready to go. I'm gonna pop off and put this on my head and we'll have our final result. <laughs> Welcome back, this is the final result. Oh, why don't you come up and see me sometime? <laughs> I love this hairstyle. The wig, well, 
Let's talk. Okay, now let's do the positives about the Raquel Welch lace front wigs. I will say the ventilation on the front where they put the light hairs there, that's a really nice touch. I like that. And the lace is almost like film lace where it goes right against your head. And it does really give you an illusion, although there is no widow's peak here. It's like straight line. But I could have done this hairstyle on any wig, girl. I did not need to buy a $500 wig in order to achieve this. And the fact that you don't get any lace front here is really a big con for me. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. You're basically just set on a certain amount of hairstyles you can do, or you have to wear it just basically straight down, which I imagine maybe the clientele for Raquel Welch, that's the only hairstyles they like to have. Who knows? I don't know. I don't live that life. I don't have that expensive life where I can buy $500 wigs and throw them out after a month. Now, this wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Oh, 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 oh. Now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully I have Manscaped. Use my code Mansfield or James20 and get 20% off your purchase plus free shipping. It's for your no-no bits. Oh. <laughs> Okay, now I'm turning into Andrew Dice Clay doing Mae West. Oh my God. And all disclosures, um, I, this is my second time doing this. This is my second take because the first take, these girls popped out the whole time. <laughs> See the uncensored on my Patreon. Oh wait, I don't have a Patreon. Maybe it'll be on Twitter. But what I do have are Venmo moments. I would like to take a moment to thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo and maybe even some PayPal monies. I would like to thank David, Aubrey, holy Thank you, Aubrey, my God. Alexander, Richard, Jonathan, Jesse, Michelle, Christopher, James, Polly, and Christopher L. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the PayPal amounties and the Ven moment. Your contributions truly help keep this channel running and they also help pay for this Raquel Welch wig. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so, so much. You really make this channel so much better. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Oh, bye. Click here and see my 100K makeup transformation or see my first Raquel Welch wig hard front synthetic wig transformation that was like, a lot of money, but you guys should watch it because, you know, it's it's a running thing with this brand. Anyways, just watch the videos. If you don't click it, I'll make your whole family move to the Ozarks. So click it.